Ready? Hi, Dr. Pelto here. I'm gonna be doing a total nail avulsion on this great toenail that I've already numbed. And I wanna show you an example on this toenail. This is one that was done before. And as you can see, there's no nail. It's just a normal nail base. This is what it looks like after. There is a little bit of nail pieces growing in the edge. Those are those spicules that we always talk about that can happen with uh, toenails, those little pieces on the side. So what I do for this, usually there's not that much bleeding, but I like to put on a, a tourniquet. Now, for everyone that is curious, I already did numb up the toe. That's what everyone always asks me. They say, did you already numb the toe? And I said, yes, I did numb the toe. <clears throat> And then uh, for a nail avulsion, basically you just want to free it up. This one is pretty loose anyway. So what you do is when you grab it, then you just twist any pain. No. Nope. Okay. And you just kind of free it up. And so that's how the nail came off. Now, there's still a lot of other debris underneath there. So there's a couple ways of doing, you have to get all this debris I think there's layers actually of nail. I don't think that was the whole nail. I think that was the first layer of nail. And you can see this goes under this other layer of nail. So this is going underneath it. So that was one layer and this will be the other layer. So I find that it doesn't stick as much if you free it up around the edges. So around the edge of the nail, if you free it up, it makes it a little bit easier. And then this other layer of nail, I go right underneath it in the same way, I just kind of free it up. And that's the nail base right there. So this is that other portion of the nail that was removed. And you can see because of the, the thickened nail for such a long time, there's these little grooves that are in here that aren't typical. You can see kind of the inside. So the area of the root is way back here. So underneath the skin, kind of in this area is where the nail grows from. Some of the nail grows from the top and I try to put the sodium hydroxide on there, but I, I want to get it all the way in the back too. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of rough up this area underneath here, make sure I got all the nail off and it looks like it's all off. And once again, it's not bleeding because I put the, the tourniquet on there. What we take now are some sterile Q-tips. And I turn the timer on for about 30 seconds. So the difference between phenol is that you usually use three Q-tips at 30 seconds each. This is just 30 seconds. We used to do a minute, but I find that it caused a little too much burning. And you can't really notice this, but it's kind of creating almost like some, some snotty type of stuff here on here that it kind of, as it's killing the skin. And it doesn't hurt at all. So you can see here, it just kind of has those, those layers. And I try to get all the way in the edges. It's the edges where, like on the other toe, it, it grew back. And so you have to get all the way deep inside and get those edges. Most of the nail growth comes from the back. And then what I do is I put a little vinegar to neutralize the sodium hydroxide. And then we're gonna put a, a dressing on. Kind of, kind of smells like salad dressing because of the vinegar. <laughs> no pain at all. No. Good. You so gonna take the tourniquet off. I am. <laughs> I am. But what I've learned is I, uh, I put, get my bandage ready first because once I take the tourniquet off, it starts to bleed. Oh, really? So, yeah, what I do is I try to take it off quick, the tourniquet off, and that's why they make them green so you don't forget them. 
and then I put on the bandage. I'm going to put a nice tight bandage on here. And I always recommend that patients kind of take it easy. Don't do too much today. And there is going to be some drainage. There's going to be some redness. All those things are normal. And this is the part my, my kids like the best that we're just going to be getting to. So they like to, just so you know, my kids, they're, right now they're three and four, and they like to watch my videos. And the reason they like to watch the videos is because of my favorite part right here, where I take and I do a little smiley face. <laughs> this kind of keeps my patients entertained a little bit. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like afterwards right here but I hope without these little spicules inside there in the nail edge. They just trim them if they're, if they're there. Okay. Okay. So...